Hello, I'm Anime Terra, and welcome to a game called... Uh, I can't read that. It's called Cat Mario, though. I know that because the link's called, and that's also what it's called. Yeah. Now, you don't hear it because I turned it down for you, but this is destroying my eardrum. This is, like, at war with my eardrums. Right, now, these are good headphones. I'm just going to take a guess that this is play. Anyway, do you want to know what this game is? Do you really want to know? This is a rage game. It's one of those unfair platforms. You might even call it the granddaddy of them because... This was one of the first ones, you know, before they became an obvious, like, rampant thing that they were everywhere. This used to be, like, one of the only ones. That and, like, Angry Mario, but that, that, even that came out, like, after. Anyway, let's... I think I already beat this game a while ago, but, like, yeah. Oh, no. How do I move? What's happening? Wait a minute. Why is it like this? Wait, what's happening? My thing isn't working anymore. Wait, the controls aren't working for me anymore. What's happening? Why does this always happen to me? You want know, one moment? I'm gonna hurry and reload this. Please don't show an ad. For the love, just don't do that. I love how everything's panicking right now. I'm panicking right now. Can we, like, get this to work, please? I just want to play the game, man. Okay, I use this. Oh my gosh, it's loud. Listen, I don't need to hear the noises. I just need to hear me screaming. So you can listen to the noises. Oh. Hmm. Okay, like I said, this is a rage game. In which, it's not the rageiest game I've ever played, but it's, it's ragey. Ragey. Alright. <clears throat> I don't know what these are. He plays an adorable cat, though. Look at that, isn't it? With a horrible hitbox. It's so... That was so loud. I turned it way down for you guys, but that was loud. This is... Yeah, this is a rage game. It's not the rageiest game, because this came out, like, a bit before all that was rampant. And everywhere. But, I happen to know... Mostly how to beat this one. I can't kill that one. Yeah, this one doesn't die. But as you can see, I, that that last pipe, a thing shot out of it. If I had gone to, if I go down this, there's a bunch of spiky guys that'll kill me. Right there, I've memorized this level spe especially because I spent forever playing it. There's a thing right there. That will make me big, and I'll break through the blocks. It's not good. That would, f that, that falls on you. That's not good. But this game, you don't get to see me totally rage at it because I've memorized this, at least this level. But, uh, oh, that guy, that guy will kill you. That whole bit fell. There's another one right there. Yeah, if you fall in there, in between where that little pit is, you get stuck and you have to jump down the pit. That cloud will kill you. Careful here. Bunch of enemies. Now this next part's the touchiest part. A laser will appear and try to kill you. There we go. Now we have to jump over the flag, because if we hit the flag, an enemy will come down and kill us, Mario Maker style. Yeah! You see how I went through that whole level? I only died once because the controls decided to have a... Actually, no, I died once to the con... I don't know what that is. I'm going to turn that off. I had once to the controls because I didn't realize I'd use the keys. I mean, the arrows. I had once because I hit the guy on accident. Okay, let's figure out how we do this. Ah, oh, crap. You don't hit that. That's not... That'll kill you. That's a bad mushroom. But all the mushrooms are bad. One turns you into such a thick boy that you fall through the cracks and die. Excellent. This is gonna be my... This is me attempting to beat this game with minimal deaths. Ooh, I forgot about that. Okay, don't hit that. The third one breaks into spikes. Maybe it was the second one. I'm not gonna try anyway. Oh, dang it. Curses. All right, the death toll is at three. I think I reset the game there for that one. So technically, the, the death toll's at four. Or death toll 
4. DEFCON 4, boys and girls of all ages. Just avoid... Do that. No. It's bad. Get down. There we go. There we go. Nice. Well done, me. Alright, now we have to get that guy. There we go. We have to get that one to hit that guy in a way that he'll break through the ground and create a pathway for us. Do you understand? Yes, that works perfectly. Okay, up. Let's go this way. Don't grab that. That's a bad. Don't grab the obvious thing that you want to grab. Wait for that. Don't get hit by them. Okay, I'm trying to remember how this works. Okay, going up will kill you. That falls. Yes! I think you can go over the thing and find some secrets, but I'm not so sure. Ugh. Yes! No! No! I got crushed! If it had been a different... Oh, it starts me here. Okay. Now you have one. The death toll is at five now. Death toll is five. Remember that. It's five. In we go. And that's good. Now on to level three. Death toll is five. Alright, we have to grab that. Excellent. I think we have to go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, get that. We're at five deaths, technically. Technically five. That one, that one doesn't need, That one's a spike. You just jump all the way to the third one. Okay. Six now. The death toll is six. This is gonna be my no-nonsense guide to getting through this game. Oh, no, wait. But I... It bounced me. I forgot... It just has you fall. I don't know why it bounced me. Okay, it's seven. We're at seven death now. Yeah, get that. On that. Now I'm gonna go jump over that. That one falls. Oh, that one launched. Okay, you jump under the second one. Then over the thing. Death toll is eight. And we're in the negative four. Death toll is eight. Excellent. It's eight. Eight o'clock, all is well. Santa Claus is coming to town. I am Santa Claus. Okay. Oh, I thought those were spikes. Okay, we're at death toll. Is it eight? I know. Ooh, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's on me, cause I should have known better. Nine. We're at nine now. But luckily we got a checkpoint, or not? I guess the checkpoint was fake. Oh, I didn't get the, I didn't get the glowy thing. Okay, nine, ten. We're at ten now, I believe. I'm going to double whatever the negative is. Okay, twelve, I guess, maybe. Let's just go with we're at twelve now. Very good, me. I'm like totally messing up. It's weird. I, I, I keep, I haven't got anything to do with this hand, because I'm used to having it over on the uh, WASD keys. But no, this was back in the days where the before WASP was commonly accepted as the appropriate hand thing. Now it's the key, the, the arrow keys, which is fine, it's just weird. Get that. Excellent. Dude, that, those would have broken had I jumped on them. Okay, just, just... That is one thing about this game that I don't think they intentionally meant to, like, enrage people, is that there are some terrible hitboxes, which actually might have been on purpose. Point is, we're at 13 now. Don't the robot, they'll throw you for a ride. So we're at 13 for deaths, was it? 13? Bye. Mm -hmm. 13. That'll break. I need that, because the spring will kill ya. Everything that you would accept kills you. Uh, supposed to go under there. Dang it, 14. You're supposed to go under there because lasers will hit you otherwise. Alright, we're at 14. I'm going to go with 14. Or we'll go this way and try our luck at... Okay, 15. We're at 15 dead. We died 15 times. Actually, it might be 14. 
Yeah, we've, we've died 14 times, so we're not doing as horribly as I thought we were. Oh, come on! I should have kept going. I should have kept going. <sighs> Alright, 16... Yeah. Uh, 15 now. Well, now we're 15. Now we're 15. Okay, go down that way. Excellent job, me. Alright, now we're gonna come up and hit that. No, ah, I need that. Crap. No, it needs to kill the robot because he'll throw me. <sighs> Gosh dang it. I accidentally hit the shell too many times. So we're at 16 now. Because it's add four to whatever it is that I had uh, showing. So, ah, dang it. Okay, it wasn't low enough. So we're at 17 now. Okay, jump up here now. Go that way. Hit that. Jump and hit that. Run that way, but don't like lose the turtle. We need the turtle. Hit that. And we hit. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, oh, but I kicked it. I kicked it. Why did it kill me? 18. We're at 18 deaths. Mm, yeah. 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 Uh, uh. No. Why does that kill me? Why does hitting the turtle kill me? All right, we're at 19 now. Oh, frick. Okay, we're at 20 now. We're at 20 now. Okay. Those were not having the headphones on, but it's so loud. I can hear them from here. I don't know how to fix them. Everything is breaking that I use normally to record. Uh, what were we at again? 20? Alright, maybe I don't jump on the turtle, like, run into it. Maybe I have to, like, jump on it or something. Send it that way. Ah, there we go. And then do it. Yes! Look how good I am at this. I did it. I did it without dying a bunch. Uh, Alright, on to the castle levels a bit early, but you know what? I don't care. We're 20. Okay. Oh, and then we have a bunch of crap. Hit that. Even though it makes that bigger, it's going to make over here easier. Aha, oh, that. Uh -huh, that would have been too big for us to get past if I hadn't hit the one thing. Alright, don't go down here. I forgot about that. Those act as spikes rather than lava. I guess so does the lava, Mario, but... Where are we at? We're at 21 deaths. 21! Forever 21. Or was it 21 again? 17? I don't know. Ah! Yeah, it didn't kill me the fall, did it? <laughs> 22! It's 22 now. 22. It's how old you have to be to do a lot of things in life. You have to be 18 to do lots of things in life. This music is not appropriate for the event that is happening. It just shouldn't. No! I didn't. forgot that was there. Alright, we're at 23. No, we're at. 23, yeah. This is too happy of music to be playing in the castle level. I just feel like that may have been an odd choice from the get. 24. Or 24 now. I didn't go left fast enough. Alright. Let's go. Fireballs to pass the minimalistic fireballs. No, hit that. No, ah! Ah, you got like doubled there. 25. We can do this. I can do this. You're just watching, you lazy people. Too lazy to go play this game for yourself. Hmm? Oh, ah. Forgot about that. I shouldn't have forgot about that, but I did. Alright, go this way. Wonder if that'll make life easier. Let's just test it. I didn't aim to hit that. I meant to go over to the thing. And yes, I think hitting that turned off the previous, the later one. Where are we at? 26 now? Good. 26 deaths. You know, I beat the, uh... I got through Super Mario, uh, U. The one on the... Oh, crap. On the Wii U. And I only died, like, twice, I think. That's not me bragging. I'm just saying that game's easy. Luckily... They made up for it with Odyssey, and believe me, I died a lot in that game. 
I, I think the reason I didn't die very much in Yu, though, was because Yu was basically just an expansion pack of, what's it called, New Super Mario's for the Wii. And that one, I did die a lot in, so being given basically the same control scheme and told, uh, to go, was pretty easy when the game practically, you know, was a copy of the previous one. Okay, just avoid touching... Oh, come on! My hitbox is, like, an inch or two taller than me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that did that. But yeah, I got through, like... I beat the game with, like, a one or two, three deaths, and then just playing it afterwards, I died a few more times. But right now, if I went back, it was... I don't remember what it's at, but I know I have one or two uh, continues, because it keeps track of how many times you've game over. I believe there's a wall of fire that's going to go. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see here. And, you know, not being able to die, that isn't a sign of, like, it's a bad game. No, far from it, that's a great game. That's, that's one of the better Mario games. Ah! Oh, dang it! Crap! I died! Okay, oh, come on! There's like a box around you that's not the shape of a cat, and that's where your box sucks. But Super Mario Odyssey, you know what I want from that game? I mean, it's not too late, I feel, to add DLC, and the game's a lot of fun, still has a lot of people playing it. I think it'd be fun is if instead of adding like Luigi's Balloon World, which is fine, I don't really use it though. I think instead, they should have added some sort of, like, remastered ver Like, I know a lot of people, including myself, want, um, a remastered Delfino Isle. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, the levels. I- just seeing the Delfino Plaza remastered with some, you know, I can- that's been there for a while. I'll move that, sorry. But just seeing Delfino, like, uh, Plaza remastered would be amazing. Okay, there's a really cool thing I can try to do where if I get up there, there's like a thing. It's so touchy. I just need to not hit that. Oh, the thing's supposed to bounce, I thought. You can get like this really weird Bowser battle if you go up there. I might be wrong. No, maybe I'm wrong. Those break. Uh, yes, you see that recovery? That was amazing. I guess you can bounce on those when they break for some reason. That's kind of weird. But, like, just seeing Delfino Plaza remastered, and, oh, dang it, I set myself up for that one. Uh, seeing Delfino Plaza remastered would be amazing. Just run around, see some of the pants, because despite what a lot of people say, I happen to believe that Mario Sunshine was one of the better, like, one, not, one of the better, Odyssey's great, uh, but I think uh, Super Mario Sunshine might be my personal favorite of the Mario games. Like, it's not the best. I think the best one, as far as, like, a game goes, is probably... Mm, I'd probably say Galaxy or Odyssey, or if I really want to sound like some sort of amazing game reviewer, I'd probably say 64. But as far as my, like, personal favorite, it doesn't have to be, like... Oh, I'm alive. Yeah. I think my favorite might be, again, um, though, is, uh sunshine i just it was a lot of fun i don't know why it's get it gets so much hate dang it i don't know why it gets so much hate i think the flood was fun to use and um i i, I don't know i i think it was creative it was fun i like the whole ink thing I, I even the voice acting i don't think was as bad as a lot of people say okay bowser was pretty bad but i think everyone else did a pretty good job it was fun hearing flood talk and hey if it was so hated they wouldn't have given him to uh, mario and super smash brothers and then again, I'm just one man on the internet, so what is my opinion on that anyway? Let's just get the thing to spawn in. Oh, ugh, dang it. I should just, like, run, jump over the one thing, and just keep going. I might be able to make it. Let's see, another fun game is, um... I don't hear a lot of people talk about Super Mario 3D World. You know, the, the one with the cat suits and everyone on the internet went... <gasps> for one reason or another, which I won't go into. Um, that game was a lot of fun. I like the soundtrack a lot in that game, especially. Like, I'll just... I'm one of those weirdos who likes to listen to video game soundtracks. Because uh, they're amazing! But, um... 
Uh, I remember that one as a uh, soundtrack that I'll just constantly go back to. The game itself is a blast. Like, it, I, it's not my personal favorite. Um, but I don't know why people talk about the 3DS Mario, 3D Mario Land more than 3D World. I don't know, personally, I just thought... Oh, did the robot throw the mushroom? Oh, the robot threw the mushroom that way, that's right. So that wasn't just there, that was because I had caused that and made it harder for my... So it's just the falling roof, okay. So, so I swear there's a way to get up there. I'm not sure how. Maybe I had to do it earlier in the level. Ah, dang it. Uh, I remember one of the first Mario games I actually played was, um, what was it? It was the Lost Levels. It was Super Mario, it was, it was Mario for the NES, the Lost Levels. So Mario 2 for an America, and, well no, not Mario 2. In America it was the Lost Levels. Mario 2 was the one with, uh, t um, Wart and stuff. Um, the Lost Levels is what was known as America, was known as Mar Mario 2 in, uh, yeah, everywhere else uh, that was released. Which, uh, they didn't release it in America because they thought it was uh, too hard for Western audiences. Which, granted, they were right, alright, that game is hard. I mean, just the first level is practically a puzzle to get the, uh, mushroom to appear. Because you have to hit the, it's in like a cage thing that you can't get in. <laughs> so you have to hit the up. You have to hit the block with the mushroom so that it'll, you know, spit it out. But then you have to hit another block to bounce it out of the cage while avoiding the turtle that's also in there. You don't want it spat out. And not only that, if you aren't able to get that one, the next mushroom you find is a poison mushroom that will kill you. I don't know why they haven't used the poison mushroom more often. The pink, I mean, the, the purple mushroom with the mad face. I don't know, I think it'd be, I think it'd be fun to see that thing in other games. What, what about you people? I mean, I, yeah, it's, yeah, it's stupid because you can barely tell the difference. Oh, God, it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, it's stupid because you can't tell the difference. Bare, like, I mean, in that game, you can barely tell the difference. between. The, I mean, yeah, you could just looking at it. But if you're new to the game, it takes you like a second glance. You go, why did that kill me? Newer games would be bright purple and you'd be like, that's clearly the evil one. Mario Galaxy, that's the other one that I kind of... Like, it went like, I played the Lost Levels, then I played, what's it called? Sunshine, a lot. Sunshine, a lot, a lot. Ooh. Uh, and then along with... Would that just fall through? Okay, yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Okay, I'm not going up there, I guess. Why is that there? But uh, I played Sunshine a lot, and then I got Galaxy. Galaxy is just the blast. I don't care what ugh, that went right on me. I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of people don't like the wiggly controls of the uh, Wii a lot because it's a lot of it's just wacky. But I feel like it was really well used in Super Mario Galaxy and uh, and two. Super Mario Galaxy two was just as good as the first one. I mean, a lot of people like it, but me too. We it's just a uh, level. Pack, basically, it's just an expansion pack, but just because just it's a bunch of new levels with the same coat of paint doesn't mean it's bad, alright, just as good, just more levels, come over this way, ah, finally, got it, alright, now let's not die while we finish this, yeah, see if you can get over there, but I'm not sure how you do that, because I, if I can remember, the robot's supposed to hit the spring and bounce up, and if it's holding you, you'll get thrown to the right, and there'll be like a boss thing over there. Whatever, I don't need to do that right now. I'll figure out how you do that in another game. Time, and we'll do it another time. <laughs> ah, phew. Okay, well, at least I got a checkpoint by going through the pipe. Oh, those spiky guys. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're terrifying. Oh, yeah. Yep, I think there's another one of the weird. Okay, don't go too far, or you'll lose the flag. That's another thing. The Lost Levels had a couple levels where if you were to get over the flag, then you could go to the right and you'd find a warp zone that would send you back to World 1. And not only is this, like, super cheap, but it's no way to go back. So you have to go into the thing or just wait the timer out. 
But imagine that. You're in, I think it's in like World 6 or 7 too. So, I mean, not too like the level. I mean, like as well. Like 6 or 7, 1 is the very first uh, level. When you, if, you, if you cross the flag, good for you. Now you get to redo the whole freaking game. What's happening? One of these is gonna like fall through or something. I gotta be spiky. Okay. Hey. I'm not complaining. That can't have been the level. I think a manatee's gonna kill me. That couldn't have been the level. I, there's like a bunch of secrets I think I'm missing. Here's the last one. 44 lives. The, the roof just falls. And you could totally just do this in one run if your hitbox wasn't like bloated out around you. It's like your spirit has taken on a physical form outside of your body and your spirit is much fatter than you were expecting. And so if it brushes past you, you go and then you fall over and die because you're so fat spiritually. At least the, vi the bad guys come with me. I'm not sure those things have souls. Neither do my sure and the cat Mario has a soul because the cat Mario keeps dying and coming back and I'm pretty sure cats don't have 40 something lives. I think they have nine. To be fair, I don't think any cat has a soul though, so. Don't come to me if you're expecting. If, if you have a new cat, don't come to me because I, I don't need to know about your cat. Or any cat. Cats are just evil monsters who only uh, love you because... And they don't even love you. They just, you know... Because you feed them, and then they're like, nah, I guess they'll stick around. At least dogs, even if it's blindly, will love you. Alright? They'll come up and they'll lick you, and they'll be like, I love you. Not just because you feed me, because we're best friends, dang it! Look at that skill. That was some skill. Oh, I did not expect that to work as well as it did. Okay, let's not die yet. I'm like having to press the left button. Oh, hey! Yes! Alright, don't do it. Okay. Let's clear the flag. Game! That's game. I did it. This guy did it. Nice. And that was it. That was a quick game. I know there's secrets in that le level. You know, this level here. And I, I, if you go over the, if you try to go into the warp zone area in this one, it'll kill you. It's, it's funny. It like pu puts you out to like a room full of enemies. <laughs> but I know there's a secret ending somewhere in here, but given as though the robot did not bounce up when, you know, he landed on it like he's supposed to to fling you to the right. It's that way on the camera. That's left for me. That's right for you guys. That way. Um... Uh, it, I don't know if I can actually pull it off. Anyway, that was Cat Mario. You can find it anywhere cats are found. I, I that's a joke. Just type up Cat Mario, and it'll, it'll pop up. No, no, it's fun. If you, you know, know what you're doing like I did, and it's just to test your skill. Wait, how many times did we die? I, 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 I didn't catch that. Um, anyway, it's just a fun quick flash game, basically. That I know it has a couple sequels. I think you can find like ports, kind of bootleg versions of this. On, I mean, it's already a bootleg, but I know you can find like other versions on like tablets and stuff if you want to do that. It is gonna be found pretty much any, every, everywhere. Um, but yeah, if you want to do like a really hard game, I know there's harder, you know, unfair platforms. Heck, we live in a world where I want to be the guy exists, and I want to be the, I want to run the marathon. I don't know which one's harder. I'm gonna assume the first one there, but. Uh, I know for a fact that even though there are harder games, this is a fun little romp that will surely uh, prove that cats are soulless monsters that can respawn as many times as they want, and also whatever these smiley things are. Let's see how many lives. We had 40, 7, 8, 9, 10. We had 50. I'd say that's a good ending. Yeah. Hey, anyway, subscribe. I'll see you all on the flip side. See ya. Bye.